Hey there, first grade, and welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi. Today, we're going to take a look at some shapes, and we're going to take a look at what makes each shape special. And for today's lesson, you are going to need a brand new math mat. This math mat is called Shape Attributes, and it almost looks like a web starts with a big oval in the middle and then some other ovals shoot out. So you want to look for that shape attributes math mat. Once you find it, place it inside your sheet protector, grab your marker, and you are ready to go because I am about to shrink myself into the corner. Today we are going to be doing grade one lesson 7.5 attributes of shapes and you will need your shape attribute web math mat placed inside of your sheet protector so let's get started here's a couple questions we're going to try to answer the first question is how big notice i have some shapes that appear and my shapes come in different sizes. This shape here is small. The shape in the middle is medium. And then the shape on the end is large. It's just like if you ordered french fries at McDonald's. You get the small, the medium, or the large. Does anybody know the name of these shapes? That's right. This is called a circle. The circle is the name of these three shapes. They may be all different colors, but they all have the same name. Now let's keep looking down here because here's another question. How many sides. Hmm. Well, a side is a straight line that appears on the outside of our shape. So let's take a look. Here's a side, here's a side, and here's a side. How many sides does this shape have? Let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three. What's the name of these shapes that have three sides? Well, these shapes are all called triangles. A triangle has three sides. Let's keep looking. Here's our next question. How many corners? Hmm. How many corners? Well, now a corner is where the two sides meet. Corner, 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 corner. How many corners on that shape? Four. One two, three, four. One, two, three, four. These shapes all have four corners. Does anybody know the name of these shapes? They may be different colors, they may be different sizes, but they all have four corners and they all look alike. The name of these shapes is called a rectangle. A rectangle. Let's keep looking. What color? Wow, we looked at the size. We looked at the number of corners, the number of sides, and now the color. We have orange 
green, and blue. Colors can be different on shapes. I wonder what's the name of these shapes. Well, these shapes are called squares. Every side is exactly the same length. Awesome job. Well, here are some other shapes that we learn about in first grade. I wonder if you know the names of these shapes. This very first shape here, it's the color red. Does anybody know what we call this shape? Well, this shape here is called a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a shape that has four sides and four corners. And it is also the top of a triangle is removed from the trapezoid. Look at that. Here's my triangle. You can see the whole triangle. And what we do to make a trapezoid is we chop the top part off. And it's called a trapezoid. Not triangle, trapezoid. Now, the shape in the middle is also a different shape. This shape is special because there are one, two, three, four, five, six sides. This shape is called a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides and it has one, two, three, four, five, six corners. Our very last shape, the blue shape, it kind of looks like a square pushed to the side. Does anybody know what that shape is called? Well, that shape is called a rhombus. A rhombus has four sides that are all the same size, and it has four corners. All of these things we've been talking about are called attributes. An attribute is a property of an object or a person. It's something that you can say it has. Take a look at my little boy and girl. My little boy and girl have attributes. Well, for one, he's a boy and she's a girl. My little boy, he has dark brown hair. My little girl, she has light brown hair. They are the attributes of those little cartoon characters. You also have attributes. You might have brown hair, blonde hair. You might have glasses. You might have freckles. You might have rosy cheeks. They are all of the attributes that make up you. Shapes also have attributes. Here's my little triangle. I can turn that into a trapezoid. My trapezoid has attributes. It's red. It has one, two, three, four sides. It has one, two, three, four corners. And it's probably medium sized. So just like people can have attributes, so can shapes. We're going to be taking a look at a really short video that's going to talk about some basic shapes and their attributes. Let's look at shapes and their attributes. Shapes can have multiple sides. Some are straight and some are curved. These sides are straight 
and these sides are curved. Shapes also have corners which are called angles or vertices. The corner or angle is where two sides meet to close the shape. Here are some angles. Some shapes are closed and some are open. This shape is closed and this shape is open. This is a triangle. It is closed and has one, two, three straight sides. A triangle also has one, two, three corners. This is a square. It is a closed shape that has one, two, three, four straight equal length sides. And one, two, three, four corners. A square has sides and corners that are all the same size. This is a rectangle. A rectangle is a closed shape that has four straight sides. And one, two, three, four corners. A rectangle has opposite sides that are the same length. A rectangle also has corners that are all the same size. This is a circle. A circle is a closed shape that has zero straight sides and zero corners. It is a curved, closed shape. Let's look at an example. Which shapes have the same number of straight sides as this shape? This shape has one, two, three, four straight sides. Which shapes below have four straight sides? This shape has one, two, three, four straight sides. It does have the same number of straight sides. This shape has one, two, three, four straight sides. It also has the same number of straight sides as the red shape. This shape has one, two, three straight sides. It does not have the same number of straight sides as the red shape. This shape has one straight side. It also does not have the same number of straight sides as a red shape. In this lesson, you learn about shapes and their attributes. Thanks for watching. So let's go ahead and get our sheet protector called shape attributes. And let's see if we can list the attributes of the shape. You will see that I have a shape in the center. What is the name of the shape. Let's write the name of the shape in our very first oval. This is called a triangle. So I'm going to write the word triangle. How many sides on a triangle? Because that's our second oval. Number of sides. One, two, three sides. And I'm going to write the number three. How many corners? Number of corners on a triangle. One, one, two, three. So I'm going to write three. Now, you also have an oval that says thickness. If we actually have the pattern blocks in our hands, the pattern block can be very thin, or it can be thick. Think of like a tree stump. A tree stump could be thin, or it could be thick. It's tough because we are looking at the shape on a computer and we're not looking at a shape that is held in our hand. But our next attribute is the color of the shape. The color is orange. So I would write the color in that oval. And in my very last oval, it says the size. Well, since my shape isn't bigger than this oval, and it's not really, really tiny, I'm going to call it medium. But again, that's tough to tell because we really only have one shape that we're looking at. 
This is a shape attribute web. We started with a shape and we named some of its attributes. Go ahead and clear off your sheet protector. Let's try another one. For this one, I want you to see if you can fill out your web all by yourself. Go ahead and take a look at the shape that we have. See if you remember its name and can figure out the number of sides and corners and the color and the size of this shape. When you're done, press that play button to see if we got the same answers. Let's see how we did. Did you guess that this is called a hexagon? A hexagon has six sides and six corners. I didn't fill in the thickness because I really can't tell on a computer, but I could tell that it is yellow. And because it stretched outside of my little oval, I said, it's a large shape. So I completed a shape attribute web on the hexagon. Go ahead and erase your web and let's try one last one. Oh, look at this little shape. See if you can complete your shape attribute web based on the shape that you see on the screen. When you're done, press play. We'll see if we got the same answers. Oh, and for those that need a hint, the shape starts with the letter R. R. I say no more. Press pause. Let's take a look. This shape is called a rhombus. It's that square that's pushed on the side. There's four sides and four corners. This rhombus is blue. And it is a small rhombus, a very, very tiny one. That would complete our shape attribute web for the little blue rhombus. Whew. Today, we took a look at shape attributes and how we can describe all these different shapes based on their size and their color and the number of corners and the number of sides. Today, you're going to have a chance to practice naming some shape attributes on your own. And I can't wait to see how smart you are.